Welcome back to our new Anno 1800 series. We're playing with crazy mods and a custom map. All of the AIs are a lot stronger. We have a lot of new ships like submarines or aircraft carriers. And we also have new tiers of population. And finally, I created myself a custom map to make sure that we have a unique experience. I've pinned the list of all of the mods in the Anno 1800 channel of my Discord. Don't hesitate to check in the video description below if you want to see the link to join the community. And of course, in the video description below, you can also find the link to the playlist, the playlist with all of the episodes for this series if you want to make sure that you start from scratch. Let's go back to our empire. Time for episode 20. In the last episode, we got our first investor. We also built our bank. We got more than 4,000 engineers. So we have unlocked the advanced shipyard. Oh, and we have one ship under attack. Let's quickly check what's happening. We may lose. Fire! Fire! Why is this pirate coming so close to me? We also got our first worker skyscraper level 2. So we're gonna need to give all of these people new things, right? Suits and can fish for these ones, for the investors, many new ones. And remember, we also still haven't given the penny farthing because we need caoutchouc and the pocket watches. And now there's a few others that we can unlock, right? I said we have unlocked the advanced shipyard, but remember, this is 10,000 of maintenance costs, which is exactly the income we have right now, and 2,000 engineers. So it's a bit too steep. We're not going to build it right away, hopefully in this episode, but not right now. First, I want to make sure that we do bring caoutchouc and start making, you know, those penny farthing. Remember that also in the last episode, we lost our cargo ship that was on these uh, sewing machine so that's very important to make sure we put a new one and we also lost apparently the one over here I missed it but yeah those pirates they keep attacking me I'm also going to continue building a couple of oil tanker to sell them remember this is how we can make a lot of money quite easily and as I said in the meantime let's go back to the new world we started playing with trade union in the last episode even if this trade union is empty for the ponchos right poncho downer so let's make a new one now just next door or on the alpaca wall. I will actually not put it just next door. I'm going to put it in the middle of nowhere to just build it. And then when I've built it perfectly, then I'll move it exactly there. Okay, so it is, ladies and gentlemen, we have 24 of those alpaca farms. Obviously, each of them with four of those pastures. The only thing missing is the silos. You can't really build the silos without building them. But as you can see, we have the space, you know, next to each of these, there is a space for a silo. So now let's use the multi-move, just move the whole thing as close as possible. Maybe we're going to do something like this and move this one over here. So we have a small road that links a small space here. Okay, looking good. Let's build it. We obviously don't need tons of them. Maybe let's start with four for now. Yes, and yes, perfect. So with that, we'll start giving ponchos to a lot of people, get a few more journaleros. <laughs> We're already at 2,000, that's great. And of course, get some money because right now we are still in negative. And over here, I've also built five quick caoutchouc plantation. In the future, of course, we can make that a lot more efficient. We can use the fertilizer silos, tractors. We can, of course, use also a trade union. But for now, I just wanted to get it a bit quick and dirty. So now let's make sure that we start sending it to the old world. I think I have one over here. Perfect. Trade route. So this time it will be on that island. Do the same as always. Our major <laughs> industrial island. We have a few new goods that have been improved. And in particular, our timber is almost at the specialty legendary level. So that'd be great. And with all of this in each of our docklands, we can build a lot of new buildings. Right? We can get, for example, over here to six. That's great. What's happening over here? Whoa, they're attacking my main base. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Whoa, with another one now. <laughs> These parrots. Okay, good thing you're dead. Let's see what you can give me. And they're also attacking on that side. <laughs> they're really looking for trouble. We may not have built the advanced shipyard yet, but we do still have access to a few new ships. For example, this one, very cool, the utility ship, which will fix our ship. So that's a great one. I think we're going to build a couple. Then I want to make, as always, a few more <laughs> oil tankers. And here it is, Primo Victoria, one of our first new ships. 
This is the utility ship that will basically repair all of the ship in that radius. So you can, you know, make it an escort. You can keep it where next to your army. You can do many things with it. I think it will open you know, some very cool, interesting idea for the future. For now, I'm going to keep it over here. Okay, so as I said in the previous episode, you know, I've been looking for some items and found a couple, for example, this one, workforce minus 40% for my animal farms, productivity plus 30 and workforce minus 60. So both of these, that's minus 100 for animal farms. So let's send that to the new world. These pirates are everywhere. It's crazy. <laughs> Similar to what's happening in many countries around the world, I have strikes going on everywhere. <laughs> So I build a couple of more mobile task force, gonna take them a minute to be ready, but after that it should solve my problems. In the meantime, I think that by now we should have delivered some caoutchouc, so let's build the factory. Why does it say, oh, I paused this one for some reason. We have a lot of reserve, right? Yeah, we have some reserve, let's actually upgrade it to have a bit more. Perfect. So yes, we have not a lot of steel, but just a, we are producing some, so that's not a problem. And we have caoutchouc. It is, it has started. The first bicycle is coming. So hopefully my engineers and my investors are going to be happy with that. Both in terms of happiness, because we're negative, but also in terms of money. We are at almost 12,000 now. Let's see where we jump to. And it is, we are giving the penny farthing now to our engineers and investors and we jump from 12 to 15,000. That's a nice jump for just one building, basically, this bicycle factory. It is also a lifestyle need for my level 2 skyscraper workers with 10 coins and 4 workers. Why not? Let's try. I think we're producing enough. Oh, and she's giving me more and more money for a ceasefire. I love it. Soon we'll get to 2 millions. And our two items have arrived in the new world. So let's put them into this over here. And as you can see now, right, we are upgrading our productivity 130%. And more importantly, we need zero workforce, which at the end of the day could also be great. Because if we manage to have zero workforce on everything, right now we have zero workforce on these ones, but not on these ones, right? But if we do manage to have zero workforce on all of them, then there's also no risk of fire, no risk of uh, riot and all those type of things. So that could be also a great one. And with that, we can also start upgrading some of these, right? We don't need as many generals as that. Okay, a few more. Perfect. Let's continue with the trade union and items. I bought a couple. And in particular, I think this one is pretty cool for the fur dealers, right? So to make, you know, those fur coats, usually you need 200 artisans, which is not the greatest, you know, tiers of population. And it requires the fur and then it requires cotton from the new world. With this one, instead of artisan, it's going to use workers. And instead of cotton fabric from the new world, it's gonna, just going to use the basic wool that we can get with sheep farm. So that's a great one, I feel, because, you know, we're going to need more and more of these fur to have a lot of engineers right we need a lot of fur coats so i think that's a good one and this is how you can fit 33 of these in just one trade union to be honest i think we'll never need 33 in this playthrough but yeah it doesn't hurt you know obviously i'm not gonna build all of them i'm just gonna build a couple so it is it's using workers and it's using directly the wool so with that we can stop all of these in the other island we can also redirect this ship to go over here now. We can also completely stop that route. And actually we won't even need you know, that production in the new world. So we can pause it, make more money. When we started to develop this island, I realized we completely forgot to put any defenses. So let's put a few that would be too dangerous other way. That should enable us to survive to any attack from Margaret. Probably not from the other ones, but that's at least the start another thing that we can start doing is using a lot more these small island they are very small but remember they have free workforce and this free workforce also means you don't need you know to provide any population but of course you also don't need then to put any firehouses um, and things like this right so this is quite useful for example now we have a few more farmers we have 100 in total so let's try to put a couple more increase you know our production i think now we're covering pretty well maybe like this okay we're gonna need a couple of warehouses 
This is in range. This is in range. Actually, yeah, they're all in range. So no need for warehouses, at least for now. But we also have some workers, right? So we could get the coal, for example, right? Two coal mine. That's 100. We could go later if we get even more. We could do also do the copper. But let's start this with that for now. Going to try to not delete too many trees. If we have problems of too many resources, maybe we'll upgrade this one or upgrade this one. But for now, that's a good start. So with that, we'll produce more fur and also more coal. So let's upgrade this. Yes, perfect. Good. So we've upgraded that route now. It's transporting both the fur and the copper to this island over here. I've also created this route here which is doing all of the transport between my two main islands. I've indeed changed the name of this island to Worker because I'm thinking this is going to become really a farmer and worker house where all of this, you know, we can upgrade them to these Pescetarians skyscrapers, right? First level one, then level two, because this will give me a lot more money, a lot more people just for the same space, right? So it will definitely be a good use of space. Continue to make more tankers and sell them. I've also built over here the second oil refinery. Now that we have a lot of money, this will make sure that we start building some reserves and that these don't have to wait because we want to also have more electricity. In particular, I'm going to want to have electricity on this worker island, right? To give to all of these guys there. Now we have a newsletter and that's an important one because remember now we're starting to make some good money but we're also starting to have a lot of population, a lot of also complex production chains. So instead of just doing you know, propaganda, we're also going to do a bit of austerity. Need consumption minus 30%, that's a huge one. So I think we're gonna do something like this, maybe also do that like that. So we're still getting a lot of money, but also reduction in production. And slowly but surely, you know, I'm gonna try to stop the money makers and do a lot more of reduction of consumption. We're gonna need a music school, that's easy. We have it over here and it's also not too big. We probably will need two actually. But let me reorganize all of this and I'll be back in a second. And actually, given that they're workers, I don't want to give them access to nice oil power plants. We're going to give them access to coal power plants, right? Burning coal, this is obviously bad on attractiveness, but it uses uh, the workers, so you know, it makes for me a lot more sense. Of course, it also provides a lot less electricity in terms of ranges, right? So we're gonna need to, to be a bit smart, but it's probably one around here, then maybe two or three for sure. So let me once again reorganize a bit. Also buying from time to time at Archibald, you know, some of the ships, hoping is going to give me some good ones. And for example, over here, an improved Royal Gallons. That's pretty cool, looking nice. Okay, so it is, I've reorganized it so that we still have perfect conditions. We are giving everything in terms of market, in terms of the school, the electricity, and also the happiness, right? The pub, the church, and the music school. I had to put two of those coal power plants. You can see one is over here, one is over there. All of the roads are brick roads to make it you know, easy to navigate. We have a lot of police station, a lot of firehouses, but I realized we are missing you know, the hospital. And the hospital is a big building, so I thought why not take advantage of you know, some of these over here, right? We have a small one, but I thought putting two of those small ones was pretty cool. The only thing is they require cotton from the new world, so I'm just waiting for that to arrive from the new world. In the meantime, I was thinking, let's just move all of this to make space in this arbor. So I'm going to make a fish arbor over here, basically. Perfect. All of these should be in range. So let's build them all. We just need to link, obviously, to our main road. And here, maybe we can put a couple of depots to use that space. Okay, the cotton has arrived, so let's deliver it. And with that, we can build those two. Perfect. They are going to start. Look at this. A small hospital, basically. Small clinic. Okay, so it is. We have a lot of those fisheries. And you may be wondering why so many. Well, I am producing 18. 
while I have put minus 50%. So even with the minus 50%, I'm still producing 18, which is huge because yeah, see, for both of my island, I need only 15. So which means we can also stop all of these on this island, right? Okay, so we've built all of the services, but we still need the T and the tools to be able to move to level two, right? And remember, we had started on this island to make those productions, but of course we weren't making it enough. Now I have built more. So these ones, for example, are the tool makers. They're only using workers with wood and furnaces. So I could have done them on the other island, but given they were already on this island, I thought, okay, let's do them. The other one, the tea, they actually take artisans. So it wouldn't have been that easy to make them on the other island unless we had commuter up here. But again, because I already have them there, you know, I just built more. And so if we look at our production, right, of course, we're making now way too much for this island. But if we select the second one, we're basically just at where we need to be and the same for the tools. And so with that, we should be able to get all of these workers to skyscraper level two. We may also want to start bringing rum to them because look at this, two workers and five coins. If we bring them rum, why not? While it's important to give all of the resources to upgrade to the maximum level, for example, we had to give tea and tools to get you know to level two sometimes it's also good to take a step back and see is that worth it right if we look over here at the t for example it will give us four workers 12 coins but it will cost also quite a bit to make it right in particular in this one because artisan and the maintenance is quite high so you know you can do the pure calculation but an easy calculation you can also do is just you know we're gonna stop this so Right now, we're gaining 3,281. We're going to stop this. So obviously now this is going down, 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 down. It went down to zero and as you can see, almost 1,000 lost. But now if we look at the production to make that happen, right? A single tea maker was already 2,000. We stop all of them, we're jumping to 12,000. So yes, this is not a pure calculation, but just the fact that it's artisan against workers and such a different number of maintenance versus the income. If for me, it doesn't make any sense to do T once you've reached the level two. Obviously you want to reach level two, but after that, you can just stop it. Is it the same for tools? Well, it seems quite different, right? It is still worker, but to make it, you need workers. So it's a one-to-one -one in a sense here. And it's 51 coins. Of course, just 51 coins doesn't mean everything, right? Because the consumption could be very high. Okay, so we are not giving tools and we have stopped the production and we are at 12,500. So now let's restart both the tool and also the buildings and once again this is not a perfect calculation because this doesn't take into account you know the production that you need as input that doesn't take into account you know the shipyards the warehouses those type of things but you can get a sense right we can get a sense if it's jumping by a lot or not and in this case for example it is right we are jumping quite a lot to almost 16,000. i don't know if we're already at the maximum let's check no, we're not even at the maximum yet, so you'll see, we'll definitely reach 16. So this is a good one to give, in my opinion. And we can do, of course, the same for the others. So what do you think about the suits? 32, 5 workers, and the catfish, 5 workers, 16 coins. Like every few minutes, I went to Ellie and I found some amazing items. This first one, the pantry chef, it's great for the cannery, but look, it's also for the fish cannery. So the discussion we just had, this is going to make it even better because instead of using the artisan, this is now going to use worker workforce. So in that case, you know, it's clear I need to make the fish cannery. Then the second is I'm starting to be a bit in trouble in terms of coal and iron. So this first rate sapper is really great because it will increase the productivity and decrease a lot the workforce, which by itself is really great but it's also even better for a small island like this right small island like this where i'm really limited in terms of workforce if i put the sapper over here you know those two mines are going to take a lot less workforce and therefore i'll also be able to use those two over here and the last one construction cost minus 20 percent workforce needed minus 40 for what for the shipyard now, my only question is I'm not sure if it's working or not on the advanced shipyard. And yes, I think it is time to build it. Actually, we've decreased a bit our income right now. I spoke maybe too quickly because remember, this is 10,000 in terms of uh, maintenance. But anyway, I still think we should do it. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> so let's put it next to the other one. 
pretty sure it's gonna also require some electricity. Yes. Wow, that is huge. Look at this. <laughs> wow. This is definitely an advanced shipyard. Love it. Uh, we need a road for some electricity. Perfect. I'm sure we're missing resources. 150 indeed. We don't have that. Let's go. Okay, so 1 million, 10,000. So we went from 3 million to 2 million. That's not too bad. And look at this. This is pretty cool. Love it. Advanced shipyard. Wow, what a mod. So big. So we have six ships. The destroyer class. The flower corvette class. The submarine. And the cruiser class. And then two more that are locked for now. The Yamato class. We need 5,000 investors. And the aircraft carrier. 5,000 investors. So that's our target, ladies and gents. We need to get to 5,000 investors. But as you see, we can already build those ones. So I think you know what's happening in the next episode. We're definitely going to start building some of these. But we also need to continue expanding. We need to continue using more items for sure. In particular, let's actually finish the episode with our first sapper. This is really one of the greatest items in the game. Right? Now we have productivity on 150. By the way, I completely forgot. This should be plus 50. Because remember, this is a no workforce island. So there's no reason not to put it. And then what do we need? Oh, we actually need a couple of resources to build those ones, but then we can do it. Because now, thanks to this item, we have 76 workers, right? This one is 25, so we can build both of these. We could also put, by the way, another trade union over here with another sapper, but that will be again in the next episode. Don't hesitate to share if you have any comments, thoughts, questions in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I hope to see you next time.